Guys, welcome out to the shop today, or out to the channel, because we aren't going to be in the shop. We uh, have some work to do underneath the house. Um, it is summertime, and we got the AC unit running full blast now, trying to keep everybody cool. And, uh, you know, temperatures are right around 93, 95 degrees, and the house is... We got an older house that's built in, like, the 93 period, so, uh, you know, that AC unit is original which means that it's struggling trying to keep up and uh one of the things that i found is that the ductwork underneath my house is not very good it's not in good shape at all and uh there's a couple holes in it and they need to get uh repaired and instead of just trying to tape them up um, we're going to start really fixing things up underneath the house uh notice some insulation is falling down we're going to get that replaced and uh, some of the ductwork actually has holes in it so we're pretty much just putting air conditioning right underneath the house so uh what we're going to be doing is fixing all of the flex duct that's underneath the house it's a uh, fairly cheap um i got a big box of it right here this is uh six inches in diameter and uh, you're going to need some kind of cutters a knife um and we also got uh, some really really big zip ties. These are 36 inches in length, I believe and I can't remember how many pipes I have that I'm gonna have to replace uh, I know there's at least Four right off the bat that I know I have to get replaced and um, also in Preparation for this I also went and bought this uh, duct support webbing and this just gets tied onto the floor joist and help support the bottom of the uh, of the ductwork, so that uh, you know you aren't bending it all over the place, and it's kind of not resting on the ground. So we're gonna get started first by uh, removing the old ductwork, not all of it at once. We're gonna do piece by piece, and uh, a couple of the things that you need is obviously a, a pair of cutters, and I have my Leatherman on me that has a knife and a hammer. And some nails because we've got to nail that webbing back up and uh let's get to it this should be fun it's underneath the house in a crawl space which means that there's gonna be bugs spider webs you know all that good stuff so if you don't like that kind of stuff i suggest you guys hiring somebody out to do this but this is a very easy job that uh, anybody can do all right guys so i'm going to just film this one section of the ductwork because this is the most lit area uh, this is the closest area to the door. All right, so we're going to start going by going over what we see is wrong with this picture. Um, I'm sure you guys will have more to say about it. So the first thing that I've noticed is that the bend right here is way too steep or way too sharp um, to go up into the uh, little air duct up there. And then once you come through here, this has actually been put over top of this wiring right here and i do not think that it should be like that um, because it's pretty much pinching off the the air supply right here and it's also squishing the insulation that's even above it so what we'll end up doing is running it kind of down and then running it level all the way across right into the little section right there so you got two bad spots one right there and one right there where it's pinched. You don't want that. This is incorrectly placed. So I've already gotten the old uh, insulation off. It's right there. And this is the new insulation. This is an eight inch ductwork with the R6. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start getting this all installed. So I've already gotten one side attached onto the vent or the vent going up into the bedroom and we're about to attach it to the main ductwork and I've already stretched it out and know that I got to cut right here in this section so I've just got a knife you guys can use any kind of knife you got and we're just gonna be going around this pipe make sure you don't cut yourself Uh, options for uh, PPE is like uh, probably some kind of mask or gloves if you would like. Um, 
you definitely don't want to be touching the insulation and then rubbing all over your face and stuff like that. And after you get your flexible pipe cut, you're going to have a little wire here right in the middle. And that's where you want to take your diagonal cutters and just snip that off. And then you can take the rest of this and push it back into the box or whatever for your next piece. And then your next task is to pull out this ductwork that's right here, the flexible part. And that's what we're going to be actually attaching onto the pipe with one of these zip ties. And a good thing to do is kind of get this prepared a little bit, put it around, and uh, get it close to what you need. And on your pipe, there's this little ridge right here. You want your uh, zip tie on this side. That way, if it starts to come loose, it gets caught up by that little ridge and won't pull all the way off. All right, so this is what it looks like. My ridge is right here. And I've got my zip tie all the way up here. Got this nice and all the way up into the front. And then we want to pull all this insulation back up around here. That way we keep the box and all the pipe work that is supplying the air still nice and cool. Uh, one thing that we do need to still do is clip off this little tail. We don't want to leave that just hanging out there. So here we are. This is where it um, is all butted up against the edge. We got this pipe fairly straight. There's no kinks in it right now. We still got to hang it up in the middle. But uh, now what we need to do is tape the end fairly tight around this set. The insulation part won't, uh, won't work loose either. And there we are. We are done with this part. Uh, this end is completely connected. It's got a zip tie in the middle holding the flexible pipe on. And then we've got this end taped and everything's all sealed up nice so the way it flows is the air will flow right into the uh, the little plastic flexible ductwork and we have this insulation around here just to make sure that the air as it continues through the line will remain to stay cold and we'll go ahead and get some of that webbing that we purchased and get the the pipe hung up in the air but it won't uh, won't be pushed up into the ceiling like it was before. All right, guys, for the support, we have this ductwork webbing. All this stuff was picked up at uh, Lowe's, so it's readily available. And I'm going to be attaching it using a uh, stapler. And it's very simple. I'm just going to do two staples per side just to kind of keep it up in the air. So let's go ahead and get that finished. So the job is pretty much complete. Uh, gotta do all of the other duct work, but this one is finished. It takes about 15 minutes to do one duct work piece, um, if that long. But uh, make sure that you uh, don't let this sag too much. Don't make, make sure you don't crimp any of your piping and have like any kind of really sharp corners. And there's a couple different ones in here that take different sizes as well. I have some that are six inch, and I think one is a four inch pipe. So, um, you know, just make sure that you put on the right stuff in the right section. You don't want to put something too big because then it could cause blow by at the end. If you guys have any questions or comments or uh, things that I left out, any tips for anybody else, make sure you guys leave them in the comments down below. Next job is going to be getting insulation all installed underneath the house, trying to keep the cool air in and the hot or like the warm air in as well during the winter time. I hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys on the next video.